subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Scraping data from websites involves extracting information from web pages, and it's important to note that web scraping should be done responsibly and in compliance with the website's terms of service. Zillow, like many websites, has its own terms of use, so be sure to review and comply with them. Here, I'll provide a basic tutorial on how to scrape Zillow data using Python with the help of the beautiful soup and requests libraries. Please keep in mind that websites may change their structure over time, so the code provided might need adjustments in the future. Step 1, Install Required Libraries Make sure you have the necessary Python libraries installed. You can install them using pip. Step 2, Import Libraries Step 3, Send a Request to Zillow To get started, send a request to the Zillow page you want to scrape. In this example, we'll scrape data from a sample Zillow page. Note, the user agent header is used to mimic a web browser and avoid being blocked by the website. Step 4, Extract Information Inspect the HTML structure of the Zillow page to identify the elements containing the data you want to scrape. For example, let's extract the title and price of each listing. This is a simplified example. Depending on your needs, you may need to inspect the HTML structure further and adjust the code accordingly. Step 5, Pagination. If the data you want spans multiple pages, you'll need to implement pagination. Zillow typically uses pagination for search results. You can extract the link to the next page and repeat the process. Conclusion Web scraping can be a powerful tool, but it's essential to use it responsibly and ethically. Always check a website's terms of service and ensure that your scraping activities don't violate any rules. Additionally, web scraping may be against the terms of service of some websites, so always make sure you have the right to scrape the data you're interested in. Chat GPT